What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install this dual USB charging port uh, in a Toyota Highlander, okay? Pretty much if you have one of these Highlanders, uh, you can charge your phone and all your you know iPads and things like that through this USB that you have down here. But if you've done that, you know that it's going to charge really, really, really slow. So this guy here will charge it in half the time because this is a quick charger. It charges at 3.2 amps and uh, has a built-in overcharging uh, little feature in it also. But check it out. Look, you get dual 3 amp USB ports and it's 100% plug and play. You don't have to cut any wires. And what it does is it actually gets power off the back of the cigarette lighter here and you retain the power of the cigarette lighter. And really to install it, all you really need is a, a plastic prying tool. You can use a screwdriver, you can use your fingernails. Uh, it's kind of up to you, but all you gotta do is pry some of these trims loose and unplug the cigarette lighter, plug it into this guy, and this guy will plug back into your cigarette lighter, and then you can put it in one of these blanks that you have here. Real quickly, I'll show you how to do that. Kind of got the car kind of prepped up, but first step you're gonna wanna do is you can push down on the boot of the shifter here, and go ahead, you're gonna wanna spin the shifter off, it just spins right off, have that loose. You can come over to your console, and in this edge here, you get your pry tool, pry on it a little bit, you have to get your finger on it and pull up. And you're just gonna wanna disconnect this guy. It's just held on with clips, it's kinda made to come loose. Same thing on this side, come over here, and just kinda loosen it up a little bit. So if you have one of these tools, it won't damage your car, that's what they're kinda made to do, but you're gonna pry it up. You don't need to take it off all the way. And these guys here, these guys just pull right off. This guy here just pulls right off. You can use the prying tool right in this corner here, pop it loose, and they just come right off. See, little simple clips. You're gonna end up, you're gonna need to take off this cup holder piece here, and you can pry on this side here, get your finger underneath it, or start prying this way like this. Again, it's just held on with clips, okay? Super duper simple. This piece here might want to come with it. All you got to do is push it back down. And uh, this kind of needs to stay where it's at. And you can just... It'll be easier if you put this into neutral. Pull this guy up and move it off to the side. This guy here, you can actually remove, remove this guy out of the way. And we're going to be replacing one of these blanks right here. And all they do is they just push right out. Okay. What we need to do is we need to get to this panel here and go behind it and push that panel out or pry it out. I'm just going to pry on it with my hand. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay, kind of see here. You might need to use a tool, but it will just pop right out. Let's see here. Okay. Pop this guy out. Okay. Oh, okay, once you get that out, you can actually just replace this guy if you want right here, because it's pretty slow, and the radio is Bluetooth, so when you get to this point, we are going to unplug this guy right there, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you right here, since uh, hey, you want to get rid of that, just unplug that real quick, you can just push this guy out. And then we're going to get the new one, wire it right up. So the new one does come with an inline fuse. It's really, really nice. Just run it in through here. And then this is going to plug into the old wiring here. Let's see here. And, and then this is going to plug back into the cigarette lighter. So, boom. And basically, there you go. Uh, you can just push it in as flat as you want. I think I'm going to move it to this other spot here, but dual 3 amp, 3.2 amp, uh, high speed uh, USBs. So you can charge your phone super quick. Just basically just snap the car back together, or you can put it in one of these blanks here. All you got to do is just push them right out. Well, if you want to get one of these or you want to know any, from, any more information on it, um, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. Um, it gives you all kinds of information and all the different applications this thing works for. It doesn't work on every single Toyota. Like, I know it doesn't work on a Tundra because the cigarette lighter is a little bit different. But, I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, it takes you right to Amazon. It'll take you right to the part. Um, 
again, these uh, little blanks here, they come in two different sizes, and this is the size you need for the Highlander. So, did a little bit of work for you, and I hope you appreciate it. Uh, if you could do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. You guys take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend.